Well, good morning. The Security Council just held an open briefing and consultations on the humanitarian situation in Syria. We listened to the presentation of uh, the SG report by USG O'Brien, and we were unanimous in thanking OCHA, its leadership, and its staff for the tremendous efforts and sacrifice on behalf of the Syrian population. I have to say that we were confronted with a grim but accurate description of the situation on the ground as uh, described in, in the news. We are confronting more indiscriminate attacks against civilians, more internal displacements and more difficulties for humanitarian access to larger parts of the Syrian territory. This escalation has to cease. On the purely humanitarian front, if I am honest with you, and I want to be as always, the report by the SG clearly states that the Security Council is not living up to its responsibilities. We are falling short of ensuring that the provisions, including in Resolution 2139, are respected. Of the five humanitarian priorities listed by the SG, none of those are respected. We are confronting indiscriminate attacks against civilians. The situation in besieged areas is not precisely getting better. The use of water, electricity, and other basic supplies and utilities as a method of warfare is pervasive by all parties. Medical supplies and activities are curtailed also by all parties, and the situation on the educational system for millions of Syrian children is catastrophic. It is not a very rosy picture, I'm afraid. So what can we do? Well, I can respond to that in my national capacity. And uh, Spain being one of the co-pen holders of Syria Humanitarian together with New Zealand and with Jordan. As co-pen holders, we have an immediate task uh, in front of us. We have to start negotiations soon in order to renew Resolution 2191 on cross-border humanitarian access. We are also working on bringing to the attention of the Council the situation concerning schools and hospitals and hope to reach some results on these issues. Also, Spain, together with France and the UK and other like-minded countries, is working on ways and means aimed at the immediate cease of indiscriminate attacks against civilians, in particular with the use of barrel bombs. We hope that there is going to be some movement on this in the coming days. Thank you very much for your attention.